Senior Presidential Advisor, Comrade Secretary General, Peter Lambos, very much, Comrade Jimmy, our able Secretary General Peter Lambos, Comrade Dr. Benjamin Bolmel, the Deputy Secretary General for Political Affairs. Uh, Comrade Mary Habai, the Deputy Secretary General for Administration and uh, Finance. Comrade, the Right Honorable Speaker, who doubles also as a member of the Bureau. All the PP members present here, the National uh, Liberation Council members, the advisors who are here, the state chairpersons, our Great secretaries and the deputy secretaries, all the comrades, because of time, I greet you in the name of the SPLM. Indeed, comrade deputy chair, I'm absolutely honored to be given this great opportunity and also to have you presiding over this momentous occasion and function happening here today. I'm really very grateful on this day. First and foremost, I would like to register my sincere appreciations and gratitude to His Excellency, the President of the Republic of South Sudan and the Chairperson of the SPLM for the trust that he has bestowed upon me at this critical time to be the city chairperson of Western Equatoria and the deputy governor. I know it's not easy, but I'm very optimistic. As a trained cadre, I have uh, committed myself and uh, reaffirmed my readiness to take the noble cause to work in Western Equatoria in both the positions. <laughs> to my people of Western Equatoria, I'm coming as a servant, leader, to work with you together so that we can implement the peace in the latter and the spirit and to unite the people of Western Equatoria and making sure that we together can build our SPLM mighty party, can restore its glory and rejuvenate our party and make it ready to be victorious in the 2026 general elections. I'm coming as a servant to build leaders at different levels of Western Equatoria so that we can be lazy to win elections in the various electoral positions come to 2026. And I'm very optimistic that we are going to be victorious and the SPLM is winning in Western Equator. I want again to take uh, this to say, my people of Western Equator, unity is very important for us now. We have to provide the necessary trust in ourselves and institutions. That's required at this very time so that we can build the infrastructures which are necessary to reconcile our people and make sure that we advance the SPLM at this critical time. I'm very convinced we together, we are going to do this as a team. My coming to Western Equatorial is at a critical time and it is a time we have to work hard to bring peace building activities to develop ourselves, to empower our women, to empower our youth, and to empower our farmers, so that we can be able to build a prosperous and a moderate Western Equatoria, which will be politically, economically, and socially viable to make sure that we build resilient state, resilient SPLM, and the resilient communities of Western Equatoria. To my able Secretary General, 
of the SPLM. I want to thank you and your two deputies in a very special way. Working under your leadership has been absolutely inspirational. I've learned a lot from your charismatic leadership. Thank you, thank you so much for building me as a able cadre of the SPLM. To my fellow secretaries and deputy secretaries, it has been amazing working with you. Your teamwork, I'll miss it. Thank you, thank you so much. To the great leaders of Western Equatoria, I want to really to appreciate you, to thank you so much. Your endorsement, supporting me, to His Excellency, has been absolutely very great, and I really appreciate you for this. To the directors and all the staff fraternity of the SPLM National Secretariat, I love you. I thank you so much. For, for, for working with you. It has been so good. So good. Also, as I conclude, I want to say, if I have, when I, wo I was working in the National Secretariat, he stepped on any foot of any person, please find it in your heart to forgive me as I go. I'm not going forever, but I'm coming. As I conclude, I want to thank the people who have organized this occasion for us, my people of Western Equatoria who have worked day and night to bring people here, and my dear family and wife, thank you for your moral support. With these few remarks, I want to thank all of you for coming. The function has been very colorful because of you and the comrade deputy chair. Thank you so much. Thank you for this function. Thank you.